the equation of conservation of momentum, also called momentum principle, is based upon Sir Isaac Newton's second law of motion, stating that the mass times the acceleration of the control volume equals the resultant of the force acting on the control volume. The momentum is defined as the mass times the velocity of the relevant control volume, m times v. It is a vector quantity with three components in the Cartesian system of coordinates. The equation of conservation of momentum may be written as shown here in a vector form, with m the mass of the control volume and v the velocity vector. The equation of conservation of momentum may be expressed in a differential form by applying it to a small control volume of dimension dx, dy, dz. And this gives this expression, where rho is the fluid density, v the velocity, f volume is the resultant of the volume force per unit volume, p the pressure, and the viscous force is the resultant of the viscous force per unit volume. Students, the direction along which you apply the equation of conservation of momentum is very important. For an incompressible flow, a Newtonian fluid, on assuming a constant viscosity across the control volume, the motion equation becomes in the i direction with either x, y, or z, the following expression, which is a system of equations called the Navier-Stokes equations. A semi-analytical solution of the Navier-Stokes equation is a Blasius equation for developing laminar boundary layer along a flat plate. In a laminar flow, the resultant of the viscous force per unit volume on the control volume may be expressed as shown here, where mu is the dynamic viscosity of the fluid. The solution of the Navier-Stokes equation for developing boundary layer yield a vertical velocity profile at any position along the plate, as well as a boundary of thickness, displacement thickness, and momentum thickness, with the graph here showing in dimensionless form the vertical velocity profile above the plate. The Blasius equation was derived by Heinrich Blasius as part of his doctoral thesis at the University of Göttingen under the supervision of Ludwig Prangel. The problem was considered the first historical application of the boundary of theory of Ludwig Prandtl. Let us consider now another application, an open channel flow down a prismatic channel. This could correspond to a river such as here, the Seine River in Paris. The force applied to the control volume equals the gravity force acting downwards, a hydrostatic pressure force acting on the upstream and downstream control surface, the boundary shear force acting along the weighted surface, the solid boundaries, on resisting the flow motion, and a reaction force acting perpendicular to the channel bed. The Navier-Stokes equations may be integrated over the control volume and applied in the streamwise x direction, with big A, the flow cross-section area, y the distance normal to the bed, and pw the weighted perimeter with tau naught, the boundary shear stress, with this schematic highlighting the definition of the weighted perimeter on cross-sectional area. Expressing the rate of change of momentum, the linear momentum equation becomes in the x direction the following equation. In this equation on the left-hand side, the first term is the variation with time of the momentum in the control flow volume, and the second term is the rate of change of momentum flux in the x direction. In the right hand side of the equation, the first term is a gravity force, a component along the flow direction. The second and third term are the hydrostatic pressure forces, and the last term is the boundary shear force. Note that the development assumes implicitly a one-dimensional flow with uniform velocity distribution on a constant channel slope. In fluid mechanics, including open channel flow, it is advantageous to select a control volume with a control surface perpendicular to the flow direction. For a steady and incompressible flow, 
is the integral form of the momentum equation in the x direction may be applied between two control surfaces denoted 1 and 2, as shown here, rho q times vx2 minus vx1 equals the sum of the force applied to the control loom in the x direction, with big Q, the water discharge, on the subscript x referring to the streamwise x direction. That is, in a steady flow, the rate of change of momentum flux in the x direction equals the sum of the force applied to the control volume in the x direction. Students, remember that all the application of the momentum equation involves the equation of conservation of mass, or continuity equation. For an incompressible flow, the equation of conservation of mass will give us big Q, the volume discharge, equals the velocity times the cross-section area. The equation of conservation of momentum is a fundamental principle in fluid mechanics, including its application and use in physical and numerical modeling of fluid flow. It is further discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies in the same channel.